Hi guys, it's Inktober Day 7! Uh, this is one of the hardest Inktober drawings that I've done. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people doing like the the watercolor effects but with like the ink and they just add some water to it and I just decided that that's something that I really wanted to try. So I uh, looked up a lot of different references and I decided that this time I would film them so you can see them on the side. I looked at a lot of different references to try and um, get what I wanted to come out right. Uh, I think it was pretty successful and I definitely spent a lot of time on this piece. It was so much fun that the time really just flew by. Uh, so I sketched it out and then I did some uh, swatches to see how the ink would look. Um, then I'm going in and lining it, or at least part of it. So originally for this piece, I was thinking that it was like a kappa, or I think that's how it's pronounced as kappa, which is a, like um, a water demon kind of thing. Uh, but in, I didn't want to use green, which I think kind of ruined the effect because kappas are normally like green skinned and they kind of remind you of like a frog with a, remind me of like a frog with a beak. Which, I, I don't know, I didn't want to use green, I don't know why. Um, so the colors I decided to use were violet and blue. And so then I, I had to make some thumbnail, like little thumbnails to practice with. Uh, and try and figure out what I wanted my color palette to be. Because I was really unsure, especially with a lim such a limited palette, what it was exactly that I wanted to um, do with the colors and how I wanted to arrange them. So I started out by mixing a bunch of different variations of the two inks so I had some different tones to work with. And uh, then I then I went in and like just really quickly painted some thumbnails to try and figure out what it was I wanted to do with the colors. I decided that kind of similarly to the green, I didn't want to use blue for the water. Like it's too traditional and I wanted something a little bit different. Um, something that didn't quite fit the norms, I guess. So now I'm going in and I'm continuing lining, but with the um, violet ink instead. And also, I'm starting to lay down the wash. Uh, oh, not the wash, just a little body. I, I decided somewhere in there that I, I thought she looked like a floating head so I went ahead and added like the shadow of the body like it would look underwater and now I'm going through and lining the lily pads and they're actually lined in the violet not the black ink and then I'm going over it all to do the purple wash in the background it was kind of challenging because this paper is not watercolor paper and it started crinkling really quick and by the end parts of it were starting to almost fall apart. Um, it actually didn't bleed through but you could definitely tell um, there were some places where the paper was really starting to not be able to handle it very well. But um, you know for for how often I use watercolor I think it's it did, a, it did an okay job and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So now I'm just working around the piece, adding some shadows and adding some details while I wait for the background to dry. Um, I really jumped around the piece. I don't, um, I don't have like a a blow dryer or anything like that, so I just, just you know, waiting around and waiting for it to dry. And the nice thing about these uh, inks is they do dry very quickly, in or at least in my opinion, um, and. As soon as they dry, they're permanent, so they you don't have to worry about picking them back up, which is really nice. They're they're waterproof when they dry, and I really like that. Um, so I'm just going in and, like I said, adding more details, um, slowly working around the picture. Um, I decided to add some stuff in the background before it was dry, and that just helped kind of spread it spread it out and make it like look a little more watercolored. Um, I really like how it turned out.
Anyway, uh, like I was saying earlier, uh, my original plan was to make a cap up, but I feel like she didn't really look like one. Um, my husband said that she looks like a water spirit, and I guess I kind of agree. Uh, she's a much more like water spirit effect than really a kappa. She doesn't really look like a water demon to me. She looks more friendly and sad. So, yeah, there we go, guys. I did go in, and here I'm um, adding a little more to the background, uh, making it look a little bit more like the reference picture because I felt like it just. It wasn't dark enough up towards the top. I feel like it needed some more. And just going in and adding a few little details like that. Anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed um, Inktober number seven, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye.